This time, I'm gonna introduce you to Okayama Castle, located in Okayama Prefecture. Okayama Castle was originally founded in the 14th century and rebuilt at the end of the 16th century. This castle has a dramatic story about two samurai whose lives were completely changed by a certain incident. Let's learn about that! At the end of the 16th century, Japan was governed by a samurai named Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who had started his career as a peasant and later unified the nation by his sheer talent. Since he hadn't been blessed with children for a long time, the most important things for him was his relatives. Two of them are the main characters of this story, and both, as you'll see later, became lords of Okayama Castle. The first samurai's name was Ukita Hideye. Having married Hideyoshi's stepdaughter, he became his son-in-law, and was designated as one of the five chief ministers in Hideyoshi's administration, carrying out important roles in his government. Also with Hideyoshi's support, he rebuilt Okayama Castle and became its lord in 1591. Let me introduce another samurai. His name was Kobayakawa Hideaki. He was a nephew of Hideyoshi's wife, and since Hideyoshi didn't yet have a son, he decided to adopt Hideaki and raise him as a candidate for his succession. This is how both Hideye and Hideaki became a part of Hideyoshi's family, and also key people in his administration. However, after Hideyoshi died in 1598, their destinies were about to change dramatically. Seizing the moment, one of Hideyoshi's chief ministers, Tokugawa Ieyasu, decided to fund his own administration and began consolidating his power base. To frustrate his ambitions, Hideyoshi's retainers, including Hideye and Hideaki, also began gathering their forces in preparation for an unavoidable battle with Ieyasu. Behind the scenes, Ieyasu crafted a smart strategy. He had been watching Hideaki from early on and approached him in an attempt to convince him to betray his allies. I will give you more territory. Come to our side and fight for me. Hideaki, just 18 years old, agreed, but remained unsure about his decision. Finally, in 1600, the conflict between the two factions caused a historic battle called the Battle of Sekigahara. Ieyasu set his troops on the east side, and the troops of Hideye and Hideaki were on the west. Come on, Ieyasu! I'm gonna destroy you! Hideye's troops began fighting desperately against Ieyasu's troops. What should I do? What should I do? Hideaki still couldn't decide what to do, even with the battle raging before him. Do it! Do it right now! What the hell is he doing? Ieyasu began getting irritated at Hideaki for not taking action. After some hours passed, the Western forces gained momentum. Good job, folks! We are winning! Go, 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 go! Well, what should I do? Might be better to do nothing? Suddenly, a shot rang out on the battlefield. It was from 
Ieyasu's troops. He was unable to bear Hideaki's indecisiveness, so fired a warning shot. Uh oh, he's getting mad at me. I've got to take action now. Hideaki's troops suddenly altered their course and began attacking their allies. What? This action triggered the downfall of the Western troops and allowed Ieyasu to win the battle. After the battle, Ieyasu executed the ringleaders of the opposition and confiscated most of the territory from the others. What about Hideye and Hideaki? Hideye's entire territory was confiscated, and he was also condemned to exile on a remote island. His castle, Okayama Castle, was also, of course, taken away. On the other hand, Hideaki got most of Hideye's territory for his historic betrayal. And he was also rewarded with Okayama Castle. They were both was a part of Hideyoshi's family. However, the destinies for these two samurai were completely different. One is leaving the castle, and the other is now the new lord of Okayama Castle.